G'day, this is Jim with Urban Self Sufficiency. Welcome to the third video in my rainwater collection series. In this video, I'm going to be addressing two main issues. One is to do with the inlet itself, being that it is exposed, it's become a catchment for floating debris from the nearby trees. Also, to this, the top of the tank, which used to be convex, has inverted somehow and become a large bowl, which in itself is also collecting a lot of that debris. The other issue is that not only is it collecting that debris, but it's also collecting rainwater. So it's turning the debris and the rainwater into a horrible soupy mix, which is then potentially flowing up into the inlet. So the first step is to remove the old filter and give that a really good clean and then look at ways at protecting that and also addressing this concave problem with the top of the tank. Now I don't have a submersible pump which would have been the easiest way to get rid of this excess water so instead I've got a garden hose and put the type of nozzle on the end that you squeeze the trigger to allow water to flow or not. I then filled the hose with water and then kinked the end and carried that up to the top of the tank. Throwing the kinked end into what is now a pond on top of the tank and holding that down with a shovel at its lowest point, I was able to then move down to the nozzle end. It was then just a matter of removing that nozzle and allowing that fresh water to flow out. You can actually see it turn from fresh water to the muddy crud that was on top of the tank. As that fresh water flowed out, it created a suction and thus starting the siphoning process. That worked really well, so once it was all siphoned off, it was just a matter of climbing on top of the tank and removing all of that disgusting debris and giving the tank top a very good clean. Now this is by no means a permanent solution, but I felt that putting a couple of drains on top of the tank to allow that water to flow back into the tank to enable me to be able to get up there and clean it without the need to siphon water off every time would be a good temporary solution. So I got a 90mm mosquito screen from the rainwater system from my local hardware store, which you can see here, to act as the drain on top of the tank. This would be good because the screen will help protect the tank itself from any of the debris flowing into the tank. But as it's got these lips, I needed to drill holes around the side to allow the water to flow through. But in fact, I felt that this probably added just a small second layer of protection for that debris, as hopefully the leaf matter and such would be blocked at the walls and just the water flowing through these holes into the screened area and the screen actually adding the most protection for debris floating into the tank. Climbing on top of the tank, I used an awl from my Leatherman to pilot a hole in the position in which the drain was going to be placed. I then noticed a lot of water rushing out of that hole, indicating that the water level in the tank was still too high to risk drilling a hole into the tank. So I went and turned my sprinklers on to alleviate that level and moved back to the inlet problem. For this, I measured the available working area around the inlet to move on to my solution for this problem. I had a lot of rubber matting lying around which I felt would be perfect to cut the size to actually cover the inlet and then cut a couple of holes in this rubber to allow the downpipes from the inlets to actually pass through the rubber and straight to the inlet itself and this would create a good barrier for leaf matter and other materials from collecting on the screens themselves.
Now before fitting the rubber matting and the new inlet pipes, I put the old screen back in and just because I had them lying around for extra measure, I put two more screens in on top of that one so that I'd have a triple layer protection. Probably overkill, but since I had it lying around and it didn't cost me any more money, I just decided to chuck it on anyway. Now I didn't glue these inlets in as indicated in the first video in this series and the reason behind that is so that I can easily remove these inlets and the rubber matting so that I can clean the screens out in the future. Now this is important that it's nice and accessible so that you can clean it easily so that we don't incur any of the problems that we've been having in the past. And after completing that there was now enough water drained out of the tank that I could move on to the previous step. I took an appropriately sized hole saw and drilled out the spot for the drain. When trying to fit the drain, I noticed that it wasn't going all the way down and then on closer inspection, I saw that there was actually a stainless steel cross member across the diameter of the tank. And as luck would have it, I happened to drill right where it was. Not to worry, I think it's a fairly simple fix. I took the drain and cut a slot so it could make way for the cross member and allow me to fit it. Once that was done, I climbed up and banged it into place. I was hoping that the dry fit would be enough to hold this so that I could easily remove it if I needed to empty it or clean it at a later date, but I did have some problems putting this in. So off camera, I decided to put a bead of silicon around the circumference of this drain to hold it in place. I also decided that one wouldn't be enough and I would need to put another one on the other side of the high point in the centre of the tank which I will do at a later date. Now since then it has rained and the system seems to be working absolutely perfectly. So for now at least I think I've solved these two problems. I will have to come up with a better solution to fix the concave problem on top of the tank. If anyone's got any suggestions or experience with this I'd love to hear your suggestions in the comments below. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, a thumbs down. And for new visitors, if you liked the video, please subscribe and share my videos around. And for returning visitors, thanks very much for your support. I really appreciate it. And until next time, take it easy.